back, folks. Welcome back to another episode of BE Wrestling, and we have a ton to cover today, folks. We're going to go through the Final X recap, Flo's coverage, uh, Russia's not competing in the Worlds, maybe, rule changes, Bo Nichols fighting, mm, mm, and mm, you have mm. some top five gold medal locks. Mm, mm, mm. But first, folks, <laughs> we got to name our subscriber of the week last week. Who's it? It is Frank W. Frank W. Frank W. He's an OK State fan. That's he right. wants us to talk about the Cowboys a little bit. Are we going to? Not today, Frank, but we will in the future. Or maybe okay. we'll mention, sprinkle right. a little. I anyway. thought, can I say something right now? Go ahead. They're going to be dangerous. They're going to be dangerous, especially as a duels team. Uh, I don't think they got the big guns to score real high at the national. Not this coming year. But between Fix and and Carroll and mm. oh, I'm telling you, duels wise, duels wise, Oklahoma State, I could don't, go with anyone. I think they could go with anyone except for Penn State. I think they could go with anyone. Mm. They have a good night out. You better watch it. You better bring it against uh, uh, Oklahoma State this coming year. Yeah. Well. All right. Well, we'll talk maybe a little more about them later. But we got to talk about Final X, baby. There were fire. Uh, works up and down the weight classes i'm telling you right now that was uh fun to watch at least what we could oh it was just is this the greatest year of wrestling i think i remember between the nationals this final x was incredible it was it was was incredible we got the world championships coming up in september but the final x i gotta tell you not a big freestyle fan, but I thoroughly enjoyed yesterday. Oh, there were upsets. Oh, my Legends going goodness. down. Oh, I tell you, there was some just memorable experiences there. Jordan sitting on that mat. Zach, did you catch that when he, he lost that third match? My heart went out to him. Oh, I know. My heart went out to I'll tell you another time. It, just, it was the opposite uh, feel is... When Taylor and Brooks were done, mm-hmm. and you see pictures on the internet of them two kind of shaking each other, kind of embracing each other. Dude, dude, you talk about, to me, that's a reflection of an incredible coach, just seeing that picture. Because well, that, that them camaraderie. put on a show. Yeah, and uh, David Taylor it was like, I'm hanging on. Yeah. Like one more year, but you know Brooks is going to be there. Yeah. They, they, uh, it's just a matter of uh, when, how soon. Yeah. But we did see one change of uh, the guard. Burroughs going down to Marstetler. Yeah. Chance yeah. has and been coming. I, I, he, that's a that's a feel-good story, too. The whole Chance story. Yep. Everybody, never even won a national championship in college. And you knew he was good coming out of high school everyone knew he was good didn't he not lose a match not lose a match in the tough toughest state in all of america pennsylvania and you oh, knew he county. was incredible but um from our, from our county right yeah yeah they build him different Down we're the from, road. boys yeah and i tell you <laughs> as much as you hated to see burroughs not make this team i couldn't be more happy of who replaced for him. chance uh i am happy for chance but listen he doesn't have uh, that's not good for the usa though right i don't know man i chance is tough he is tough but he mentioned he's been training specifically for burrows yeah like, but- he's dedicated his life to beating burrows now touche he did it but he's not our best bet in the world i mean he? everybody was hoping for burrows to put the bow around this career the greatest career in all of america's history mm-hmm it didn't work out that way. He may be back, by the way, next year in the Olympics, but the mountains is even higher moving down and, and taking on Dake and probably mm. Marsta- mm-hmm. Stellar again. Yeah. Don't don't Chance forget. Is young. He ain't going nowhere. No. F- and who else? Yeah, that's going to be. Um, yeah. Th- I mean, the thing is, is Jordan's going to be a star in this sport. And um, uh, well, he's we're, we're not going to. Forever. Yeah. We're not, we haven't seen the last Jordan. In fact, uh, I think we'll probably see him a whole lot more now as, you know, commentary or whatever. He's got some pretty cool wrestling shoes. Chance, the thing about Chance is it's D, his position's so solid, his D is so solid, and he's he's lightning fast. Can he go and medal at these world championships? Well, you, you mentioned at the start that uh, someone someone said Russia 
is fighting hard to be in the Olympics, but not fighting so hard to be in these, I'm sure they want to be in both. Okay. But if Russia's not in there, kid chance, even gold. Yeah. And although that, that's a tough weight. Ooh. That's a tough weight, but I believe in chance. I believe in chance. And I tell you, he's tough. And it was, it was just, that was fun to That's see. That's a feel-good story for Chance. I got more to say about them Olympics and Russia and all that. Well, we'll get into that. Before we – let's start at 57. Uh, Gilman getting upset. Not good for Nittany Lyon. Wrestling. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, well – Dude. He, he, you know, yeah, that – by the way, Nittany Lion Wrestling Club, they had a chance to have seven spots on the Olympic team. They claimed Six. six. So – I don't think they were upset. Of course, everybody was upset to see Gilman not make it. I, I don't know. You got to give, it's more of a, a case. You got to give Zane credit. Yeah. Richard's credit. I mean, there is an example to all you young wrestlers out there. If you believe in yourself, you keep working. That's why you see these guys that aren't considered to be a potential and they're still going at it because they believe in themselves. And, you know what? They could pull off a Zane Richards, too. All of a sudden, Zane Richards is a verb. You know what I'm saying? I want to Zane Richards myself right up to the... <laughs> now, look. look. To me, uh, Gilman looked like a little too muscle. Do you, you ever wrestle yeah, a muscle yeah. hound? Well, he's stacked. You can beat a muscle hound. They look unbeatable as you're taking the mat. Oh, my goodness. How am I going to beat this guy? Yeah. But it was Richards who used uh, technique and speed. And it looked like, to me, Gilman was trying to muscle his way to a, a victory. And then when he finally was shooting... He wasn't setting it up. He was diving. He ended up on his his stomach fully extended, mm. and it was like I, almost like, dude, that kind of looks like junior high wrestling. There, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, He's wrestling for a spot on the world team. He's on under his junior high wrestling. Diving under. Hey, that's got to be a little encouraging for Spencer, though, right? Because didn't he yeah. lose to Zane? That's true. Now Zane's the world. Now, you know, Spencer was thinking, well, Zane's not even the best, and I can't beat Zane. Now, all of a sudden, Spencer's probably a little encouraged. Well, he's got a, a mountain to climb. He's got to get through the whole uh, – uh, he's got to – for the Olympics. Um, he's yeah. got quite yeah. a, a mountain to climb just to get to what's going to end up being Richards now. Mm. I mean, he's going to have to go through Gilman to get the Richards. Oh, goodness. Gilman, Gilman has the technique. And, yeah, he is strong. And he's a great hand fighter and all that stuff. But he's got to remember, he just, I bet you if you were sitting right now talking to Gilman, he'd say, I, I, I did not wrestle the match I wanted to wrestle. I bet you he'd say that, but I can guarantee you he'd say that. He lost. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know he said that. <laughs> Where are all these Penn State adjustments at? Oh, okay. uh, Gilman. But uh, all right, we got to move on. How about Vito? Vito over Garrett, and Vito just looks like was that one of the funnest matches dog. you've ever seen in your life, dude? Vito is them two, else. both of them. I, there was no loser there. He looked faster. In that match, then uh, oh, he did against RBY. He got lucky to beat Nashawn. He not lucky. Mm. Nashawn's right there. Nashawn's right oh, yeah. there. But Vito is there. Yeah, Vito, Vito is that dude. I guess he is. Vito I is that dude. He is. What's Him his that chances? Drag on sh shifty little arm drags into shots. Oh, yeah. I tell you, he is something. Um, What's his chances at, at Worlds? We have a chance here. Oh, I like his chances. In fact, you know, you you said at the end of this, I'm going to give my top five gold locks. Yep. Vito was. I was thinking very hard about Vito. Mm. I think Vito's going to pull in a gold. I really do. If he keeps wrestling like this, and he has now for three main big events, he's wrestled quite well. Yes, he has. Yeah, he he's does. only getting better. Uh Talking about 65 kilograms, big upset. Uh, not Maybe not big upset, Nick Lee over Yanni? Oh. Is is oh. the days of Yanni being on top done? Yeah. I thought he had a long 
road ahead. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, I mean, Nick Lee's three and zero against Yanni and Freestyle. This Nick Lee kid, I remember. I mean, just watching him in college, just an absolute workhorse, man. You know, he Yanni and all his flexibility, and uh, it's like he's not that worried if somebody gets to his legs. Yeah, but he's a little lackadaisical. And when you run up against a workhorse, I mean, Nick Lee is Yanni's kryptonite. That's the type of wrestler that Yanni's going to lose to, is just the absolute workhorse doll. Yeah, and the thing is, Yanni's got the skills to be the one on offense. Yeah. And it's oh, yeah. almost like he's a little kind of adopted a bit of Dake's technique, mm -hmm. but Dake at them uh, uh, gut wrenches and head pinches, I mean, he's deadly good. So you won't see Dake shoot a lot, but don't let me or Nick Lee in at your legs because most likely he's going to finish. And he just showed Yanni yeah. for three straight times in a row. Now that was controversial at the end. They it went up to uh, the brick came out and they ended up giving giving the four to, to yeah. Nick Lee to win. Yeah, but I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that was. Did you think that was four? I, I didn't of, know what to think that there. That was close. That was close. That, People that say, oh, the freestyle rules are easier to understand. What? What? <laughs> I, things looked awfully confusing to me more times than one. Yeah. But well, Saturday. A couple but, degrees difference, and Yanni pulls that out. Uh, Nick Lee, not as good of a chance on the world stage as Yanni. Same case as you might be able to say, You might say that. And I'm anxious to see. I know one thing. That did a whole bunch for Nick Lee's confidence. I mean, he's a world team member now. And that boy can wrestle. Yeah, I mean, how about the first four weight classes, all new faces here? I'll tell you it's something else about Nick Lee. Turning the page. Yeah, he's he's tough to, like, you. he seems like a guy you got to get used to. The way he's, he changes directions back and forth, and he's he's constantly attacking. Um yeah. It'll be interesting to see how the world deals with Nick Lee. Or Yeah. So I'm I, I'm I am interested. I'm fascinated to see what he he does on the world stage. Um When the surface I agree with what you said. I you maybe it's prettier to have the Yanni there. Well, we want to see Yanni and this Iranian go at it again. Yeah. But that ain't going to happen. And yeah. maybe it'll be Nick Lee. But um it's a new generation here of faces coming through. Now we're talking about 70 kilograms, the Zane train oh. over Burger. Oh. Who saw that coming? <laughs> you know what I want to do, Zach? I want to talk about the positives here, and there's all kinds I can say about Zane. One, is Zane one tough dude or what? Oh, yeah. He's his head? one tough See his head? Oh, my goodness, his head split in half. And he's out there wrestling. I, I seen a picture. He he had quite a few stitches. Oh yeah, you could tell how deep of a that gap. Deep. The the bat the negative side of this. Don't get me started on burger. Don't get me started on burger. I yeah, oh my man. goodness. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. You know what that reminded me of? Like a, a 12 year old out in the playground didn't get his way, so he cheap shot someone, mm. and um, and then afterwards he tried to lie. He he immediately I was out in the I didn't do nothing wrong. I hit him with my no, you didn't, Burger. That was absolutely intentional, absolutely intentional. And you know what? It's just like a, a classless child. <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. And Brandon Slay and Penn RTC, as far as I'm concerned, you can say, oh, well, hey, that's talk to him. There's potential wrestlers out there that are thinking, should I go to Penn? Should I go to, oh, would, would you allow this stuff? Because the last time I checked, all the quality programs out there and the quality RTCs, and to me, it's all one, whether it's a Nittany Line Wrestling Club and Penn State, I mean, to a wrestler looking for their college, that's all one mm -hmm. because they're looking to move on after the the college to the RTC, and I don't care if it's Hawkeye Wrestling Club or and every team might have their little bad boy, but that was just that was cheap, that was cheap, and it was it's I hate to say it, but it was just right out assault. It was kind of like assault. 
Did you see that? Yeah, I mean, that was he purposely just aimed his head, and then the the next match, then he's he's hitting it constantly over and over. I can't beat this guy, so I'll cheat to win. I'll do anything I have to to win. No, no, don't work that way, burger. <laughs> don't work that way. Pay you don't have to claim. You ever notice whether it's uh, uh, state champs or any of these guys that get so good at wrestling? What's the one common denominator they have? All of them are so they're classy. They're quality people disciplined quality people that's why they're where they're at now every once in a while a one percent gets through and a, i'm talking about you burger because we we've seen that in college too we've seen that back in college and mm. the old if i can't win i'll i'll do whatever i have to mm. i'll cheat i'll try to break his head open whatever i have to do and you could say well i'm a little rough on burger that was no, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's somebody needs to call that out. That's wrong. And yeah, well, I, Burger doesn't Burger's like losing. Burger's a great wrestler. Don't get me wrong. Why you need to do that, Burger? Why you need to do that? Use your skills. If you can, if you can't beat Zane yet, go back to the the wrestling room, get better, and then beat him. Don't try to cheap shot him, Zane. I'm proud of Zane. It didn't One work for Burger. Two. He still got run over by the Zane train. Oh, is Zane one of your locks? I don't know. Maybe oh. we save that for the end, huh? I'm telling you that that I was fired up there, Zach. Yeah, you were. All right, no, let's let's move on to seventy four. It was Dake over Nolf. Uh That's what we expected. Dake still on top, but um, has Nolf gotten any closer? I mean, to me, Nolf. Now, this is just my opinion. Nolf had the wrong game plan against Dake. I don't think I've ever seen a wrestler tougher in his d defense. Mm -hmm. And he's so good at what he does. Them chest wraps mm -hmm. and them head pinches that he does. There's, so Nolf goes out and he tries to attack from space. And I'm not the guy. But there's a, a whole bunch of really incredible coaches out there that ultimately Nolf's the one that picks. Okay, what's my game plan going in? To me... I would have pummeled in there. I would have gotten in close before attacking because when you're out in space, A, no, uh, uh, Dake is too quick. Yeah. His defense is too good. And it, Dake ain't going to shoot. He's going to wait for you to come a lot of times. He's got a shot. Dake's got a shot. He's shown, he's shown that, and he'll get it out when he has to. But for the most part, he feels so good about his his – yeah, his chest, chest wraps and head pinches and stuff. You're going over. You're you're giving up points as soon as you come in, and that actually happened to Nolf. It was hard to gauge. Is yeah, Nolf is getting better, but it's going to take a specific game plan against Dake. And I tell you, back to that Russia thing. I hope it's not true. I hope Russia's there. I don't want things to be watered down. Um, that's the wrong term to use, but I want it to be full not strength. Not as competitive, yeah. I want to see this match. We want all Russia. these. We guys. want Russia. Yeah. There. And how all of us want to see this Russian. And no, I don't know the Russian's name, like say Flo or these. I drive a truck. I, I'm busy <laughs> driving a truck. I, I can't memorize these uh, names of these, the foreign guys. I have a rough enough time with these names. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know that. But everybody wants to see Dake against this Russian. And quite frankly, I want to see Dake against this guy that beat him in the Olympics. Yeah. Take them. Tacked him in the Olympics. I think that guy's going to be there. A guy from Uspankistan or something. <laughs> I don't know. What, what, where is that place called? I don't know. He's good, though. Do I think Dake will beat him this time? Yes. Dake's coming home with gold. You're going to make me. Dake's coming home with gold. And the dag on shame at Nolf couldn't wrestle. He'd probably end up, he'd get a medal, too. You think Dake's, you think Dake's winning gold over the dude? I'm going to have to do 15 minutes of research to find out who he is now to put him in the back screen? Oh, uh, I just, <laughs> it makes me, Zach, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a, a podcast that goes off in a little rants, but can I just say one thing? Sure. I'm here. I'm here with any of you. 
whether it's the individual countries or the Olympic Committee, get your poli- your dirty, corrupt politics away from our precious sports. Look, over here yeah. is politics. Here's our little refuge from all that crap. Yeah. It's called sports. Yeah, we watch sports to get away from you politics. You bringing this crap into... Even the U.S. is guilty. What was that? I forgot to even look. Was it Carter and 84, whatever? Oh, we're going to boy, we're going to boycott. We don't like what they're doing. I, I can. What does the athlete have to do with what the country's doing? We want to see athlete, athletes go at it. And you could say, well, I'm against what Russia's doing right now. Look, please, please. Olympics. Can we keep that in its own little cocoon and keep all the politics out a safe zone yeah, yeah enough. All just have fun enough eat. enough with the politics in sports i don't care if it's nba oh, I know. Uh, I nfl just get them out this is where we want to go to have fun and watch these incredible athletes go at it and uh, okay I- i'm done oh i hear I'm you done. politics is leaking into everything mm. And leaking into everything, you can, into beer now, or po- certain beers are political. <laughs> All right, though, uh, seventy nine. Well, you, you can keep it in the beer. Just keep it out of my our sports. sports. I know. Yeah, I know. I don't um, care what you do over there. Hey, listen. Before we go on uh, to talk about eighty six kilograms, uh, any final thoughts on Mar Stetler and Burroughs? Was that it? Was that a singlet pool? Well, I mean, how would we know? That don't get me started on another. <laughs> don't get me started on another right flow flows coverage. Uh, they never did show uh, what's this I singlet pool. I know, uh, and literally was the match. And yeah, they're this, reviewing it, and I'm. Thinking, they showed it up on okay, the big board. Okay, well, let's see because it because the whole crowd's reacting. But somehow, <sighs> somehow we missed that flow. Can we get going? It flow. Can we get back to that. Unbelievable. Because that was a big miss. Yeah. Along with the... Uh, Some others. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Quite a few others. Ay, 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 right. ay. Well, listen, they're just a bunch of kids, right. dude. But we'll finish this out. up first. Yeah. <laughs> Total tip of the hat to Mar Stetler. Us Pennsylvanians are rooting for you. And... Um, that brick. Jordan, guy. we love you. We love you. You're bro. awesome. That, you're our, you're our uh, goat. At this point, it may eventually get topped. I tell you what, you're I was, our goat. Yeah, he's done though. I mean, when at the end of that first match, when he called that brick, that was his last. Yeah, I thought that, that boy is done. He he is. I'll tell you, a new goat. Chance is in his head. A new goat that just uh, arose is Djokovic. Not to change sports here, but it's a whole different scenario of where Burroughs is at and where Djokovic is at. Djokovic, tag one looks like he can go for another. <laughs> yeah, but and I in tennis, we're even I tell you, Jordan still in. looks good. It's just Marsteller is yeah. a tough matchup for him. Marsteller's got him himself some very good tough defense training for years just for Burroughs. But yeah, uh, all right, eighty six. It was Taylor and Aaron Brooks, the old Penn uh, State clash. Yeah, and that was just that was awesome. Taylor still comes out on top. Taylor, it's just class. You know what? Class is just bubbling over when them two walk out into the mat, both of them. Just, and I could say that about almost every one of these wrestlers. Yeah. I can think of one guy I'm not going to say it about, <laughs> but just class bubbling out. And um, I just, yeah, we've seen the, uh, the guy that's going to replace uh, Taylor. When that time comes. Only a matter of time. And um, I will say, though, as far as individually that match, uh, I I think Brooks actually should have got the win in the second match. They ended up giving a four. That didn't look like four to me. And back to the freestyle rules that are supposed to be so understandable or so much easier and less complex. Uh, Did he break 90 degrees or not? Look, to me, yeah, they they mm. gave Teller four points that they probably should have. It, that was a no-lose situation for – you guys know I'm a Penn State homer. I admit it. So either one of them – actually, I wanted Teller to win because he's winding down. Yep. Let's get, Brooks I know Brooks long, is coming. Long road ahead, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, Brooks Brooks is going to have a long reign coming up, but uh, mm. that was fun. That was a great match. Love both of them, guys. How about uh, Valencia at 92? Boy, did he look good. Does uh, Valencia have a chance? Can Here, I... Man, I don't want to be Mr. Complain, but I, I have a rule proposal. Here's a, a freestyle rule proposal. Mm -hmm. Won't happen very often. Uh, but that's called the Aaron Brooks rule. Oh, here the homers defending his Penn State guy. You tell me this doesn't make sense. Okay, you lose to wrestler B, okay? Yeah. I just lost to wrestler B. I'm going to go up or maybe say go down. I'm going to a different weight because I just lost him. I can't even make – I don't even have a chance to be on the team at this weight. So I go there, and I win that weight. Mm -hmm. If that same wrestler that you lost to right there somehow lost at that old weight that you were at, he should have a right to then come and challenge you. He, Because Brooks would be on the team. Well, it, we would be seeing a special wrestle off of, against Brooks and Valencia now. Yeah. Brooks could go up to take over 92. Yeah. Now, that's not homerism. That's just common sense. We want our best team. We we have a guy yeah, sitting true. on the bench that we know is better than our starter at 92. Yeah. Now, you like I said, let's call it the Aaron Brooks rule. It's not going to happen a whole lot of times, but why why would that not be Seems like common sense to me. Yeah, for the United States, we want our best team out there. Yeah, that's but yeah, I will Can we give change it to that, Valencia. Please? Valencia is, I mean, he's deadly he's good. good. Yeah. I'll tell you the truth. You dropped him last time. Anytime week. that somebody beats him, I'm I'm almost surprised. Um Yeah, he's I'm quick, man. Certainly surprised how Taylor tore him up. But when when uh when Nickel or Brooks beat him, I mean I a little surprising. Valencia yeah, is, is tough and explosive. If you had one word and you gave it to one of these wrestlers, and that word was explosive, I'm giving it to Valencia. Ooh, I'm when giving he it to goes, Vito. he goes. Um, well, Dang, yeah, gone. I like Vito there. But it reminds me of when you teach young kids to wrestle. Yeah, I, you can tell them. Look, you might be able to do the move a little wrong, not have all the technique right. Mm -hmm. But if you're explosive enough while you're doing that move wrong. Most likely, it's going to work. Yeah. If you go 100. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Zahid, any chance on the world stage there for him? Uh, yeah. I like his chances of meddling. Mm. I'm not going to, I don't think he gets gold, but I, I think he, he comes back with a medal. Yeah. All right. 97 kilograms, Kyle Snyder, uh, Jane Cox, medical forfeit. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, I, I didn't look into it in time because, uh, you know, uh, was looking forward to that match. Truck drivers are busy doing stuff. Driving. But something Driving somehow by. Cox got hurt. Mm. He showed up at the at the scales with crutches. My goodness. And that hated. was a heartbreak. Yeah. Because every, all of us were looking forward to that match. And I'll tell you, Cox looks so good up weight. He really does. Yeah, he does. It reminds me of James Green. James Green would drop down to 65, and he'd look weak. He'd go back to 70, and he'd look incredible. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that could have been very, very – I definitely didn't have uh, Snyder written in as an, a guaranteed winner there. So, but hopefully – Cox has had some bad – fortune when it comes to these world teams you remember he missed weight the last one. Oh my goodness yeah Jayden. everybody was looking forward to the yeah but that's, that's a shame but congratulations to kyle kyle we know what he can do on the world stage oh yeah uh and then yeah. along with gable and 125 gable's back baby okay gable is back and uh, I think our our level of respect for uh, Paris just went up. But, again, uh, Flo coming and calling Gable the gr greatest of all time. And we criticized that a bit. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to look like maybe we were known, knew what we were talking about. Uh, greatest of all time. Whoa! Whoa! Not saying Gable what didn't look good. Not taking any credit away from Paris. But the greatest, I, anytime you start calling somebody greatest of all time, 
Just put that term away until the guy deserves it. There's one guy that deserves it right now, and it's Jordan Burroughs. And John Smith can make an argument there in all seriousness. But mm. Jordan Burroughs, okay, he's the greatest of all time right now. He might get passed, but yeah. And put it, put it away. I, I agree. Yeah. Because it, all it does is it messes up our wrestlers. You know, look what it did to Spencer. Mm. Head games, head guy. games. Pressure on a guy. Oh, now I got to live up to this? They think I'm King Kong over here. <laughs> and uh, I'm well, just... It just makes you not quite work as hard, right? Because... I don't... Yeah, it's just... Why do I have to work harder? Course, I'm already the greatest of all time. Of course. It's fun calling someone and getting the, uh, you know... Stir in the pot. Talk. Yeah. Stir that pot a little yeah. bit. Mm. You know, get people fired up. Greatest of all time, Gable. Well, he certainly got us. Uh, or talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Christian Powell's got us all wound up yeah. about it. I was. <laughs> wow. But yeah. in all seriousness, um, yeah, I think okay, we're back down to earth now. Gable didn't automatically win this gold coming up in these world championships. Even with Russia not coming, there's some other very good heavyweights mm -hmm. right there. He's going to have to work for it. He's got the Russell Smart and all that stuff. Um, but it's not a guarantee. But, uh, yeah, that was it was a fun match to watch. It really was. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. find out. Overall, Final X was fireworks. Yes. Final thoughts except, before we move and, on. Except to go right to something about Final X, uh, back to Flo's coverage. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we got to can't let you go that easy, Flo. I'm it, sorry. Yeah. You know. <laughs> what is this, a bunch of college kids, dude? First timers? Come on. Oh, you're too critical on Flo. What, did, what went wrong? Well, let me. where do you want me to begin? I only seen half the DeSanto and Fix match, which I was looking forward to that. It was yeah, it was just a true third match, but that was a big match. Yeah. Oh, I got to see the second half, mm. and half of the second half was without any sound. <laughs> Finally, somebody f figured out. Oh, look, there's no sound. I got to turn that. I got to. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? And first off, let me bring it back because I love Flo. I, I do. We, There's now the only we, option out there. I love flow and I hate flow. Sort of love hate relationship. Yeah. You ever have a girlfriend you would loved part of her, and the other part it's like you, you, I can't take this. All of them. Customer service. You know, there was another company one time that really didn't care about customer service. They called the cable company. They thought, ah, oh, we got these guys. What are they going to do? And I don't know what Flo's doing, whether they're using all their money and distributing to their other avenues of sports. Maybe some people are taking a little bigger bonuses. But it's obvious that we are not seeing improvement from one year to the next or really from the beginning when they started till now to uh, fix this streaming problem. And I, I only seen half of the of the Taylor uh, Brooks match. I only seen half of the Dake uh, Nolf well. match. It's like it just constantly it was it was the streaming problem and it's not getting any better. It can be fixed. They did it, Kristen did get a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, they are making improvements. Well it's like they don't care in sense oh where's the wrestling people gonna go? Where are they going? Yeah, we're coming. Look, Whoa. look, we got bigger priorities. We are coming. B.E.G., well, you wait till there's a second option out there. Just wait. Just like the couple the cable companies out there, um, competition eventually came. Yep. And people didn't forget that you could care less about customer service. With that said, thank you, Flo, because... <laughs> <laughs> we can watch wrestling now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to attack this. It's a monopoly. Put my arms around Flo or kick him in the butt. I don't know, but Flo is frustrating. And yeah. they they're making say this much money. Well, they made this, they could be making that much. It, this people they got mad and left. And how many times do we see it written on the internet? Flo will yeah. never see another dime from me. <laughs> And Flo, come on. It's like high schoolers in charge of a broadcast. And it's first time, 
don't you guys ever improve? Hey, look, la last time we did a broadcast, we forgot to even turn the sound on. Yeah, we might want to. That's, that's sit down and have a little Let's put a checklist review. together. Yeah, yeah, a checklist. Volume. Checklist. Video. <laughs> I mean, now streaming is one problem, but we got even production and, and management uh, problems over there. Just let's get it dialed in. Let's get it together, Flo. All right. A couple more microphones, some live streaming. You wait, though. We're going to live stream to celebrate our 1,000th subscriber. And after that point, it's it's uh, balls to the wall. Mm. We're, we're coming. By this time next year, we will have a live stream. I, I got a lot I can say good about Flo. So I, I've been a lot of ranting on this episode. <laughs> I didn't I told, did not tell you I don't want to be Mr. Rant. I'm, I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Moving on. Uh, we talked about Russia and maybe not competing in the politics. What about some of these rule changes? Who are they going to affect? Wow. Who are they going to benefit? Who are they going to hurt? Oh, the rule changes. Three-point wow. takedown. Just so you all know, all the rules passed except for the one. Mm -hmm. But it was a big one. The, the rule that you have to get back points in order to earn a riding point mm -hmm. and that substantially kind of changes things. first off to me a team that scores a lot and a team that's very good from the top position in riding made out like a bandit mm, who would that be <laughs> um i don't know i don't know oh my goodness what? the rich get what? richer this you're <laughs> telling me this is helping penn state <laughs> unreal I mean, I I don't know what to think about these rules. Some of them I absolutely love. The uh, you're going to take a loss if you medical forfeit. Love that. Love it. Love it. A uh, dodging, dodging people. Do you notice we almost made it through a whole broadcast? I didn't say almost anything negative about Iowa yet. <laughs> Why are you getting ready to hold on? He's going to sandwich some compliments. <laughs> Around <laughs> okay, what if I go to the soldier salute? Okay, <laughs> so no, I'm mad at you, Iowa, because you got out of the national duels. Uh, I mean, the collegiate duels. We had a great thing going here. Cornell ain't scared. No, they're you, not. You develop your own national or pyro or, or be uh, there. Yeah. <sighs> Look, they. I guess they wanted their own. Look, you could have had the soldier salute. Just have it at a different time. Come to the collegiate duels and then do the soldier salute at another time. That's all. That's all. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> got to keep that record good. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Man, we're already fighting uphill enough against Kale. Now they change the well, rules I, to benefit Penn State. You know, after watching Burger this weekend, my respect level for Iowa increased because I will say this. Iowa wrestlers, as hard as I root against them, they're—I mean, they're—they're they're classy guys. They're quality guys. And you could have—you had a couple in there. DeSanto had some flare-ups. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you hold on. You wait till these Ferraris come through. We'll say we'll see if that uh, holds true in a year from now. You know, when Medcalf, uh, when uh, what's his face is doing the uh, the backflip. There was technically a second left on the clock when Metcalf went over and pushed him. That's for you older people. Uh, so I'm not even going to call that a cheap shot. The match is still going. You're over here throwing backflips. I think I would have done the same thing Metcalf did. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, um, I, I can't say it. You know, Iowa, they, they got classy people over there. And I'm going to just say it. So I'm I'm done saying it now. All right, you're getting off track. I I like a three point takedown. Yeah, I know, I know. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. I know. Change. It's hard. Change. It's hard to. All right, I just like the scoring. Plus, change. I feel like you need to be rewarded for takedowns. Takedowns are hard. You know, They're... it's like when my wife she started folding my socks differently. Hmm. And it's like change. Whoa, whoa! What are you What are you doing with my socks? Yeah, don't get me started on. Clothes <laughs> no, storage. No, that's a little <clears throat> Kelly. That's a little unreal. Our, our friend Coleslaw. But um, at, no, I um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. What are some of the other big rule changes? Okay, the three point takedown. Well, here's to me a big one, and we're gonna see results out of this, and all of us agree to this. At least in the language, 
you're going to get nailed for stalling from the top if you're not working the turn. Okay, I absolutely love that one because I even when Penn State's doing it, if you're just riding parallel there for the uh, the riding point, I'm sorry. No, no, that's not what wrestling. So I really like that. We're going to see stalling, and we'll probably see it used too too much at the beginning, and they'll have to readjust yeah. it back a little bit. They did that with the fate tapping in the face. You remember that year? Mm -hmm. You touch a face, and it got it was crazy out of the gates. But um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. I really like that one. I really, really like that one. And there's a whole I bunch agree. of rule changes. Uh, but the biggest, biggest one, of course, the three point. And how's this going to affect? How's the sport going to look different next year with these rule changes? I, I don't know. I seen. I mean, there's a lot. It'll be interesting to see. I, you, I've, I've seen arguments both ways where it's not going to help things offensively. Um, people will be afraid to shoot because counter sh counter shots are so effective nowadays yeah uh, that they're gonna be I don't know we'll see will will the three point takedown be a big change to the sport I don't know but that language that the top man's got to be working for the turn I think that's a big big step yeah I, I definitely do think that well, I just like the changes man let's uh let's spice it up I like overall scoring hey that's what they did in the NFL yeah uh it's more scoring and you see what happened to the NFL ratings yeah so hopefully it happens uh in wrestling yeah uh anything I, else uh well did you, you know we me and you were speculating about veto. And Vito, uh, he's too big to go down to 57 kilograms for next year's Olympics. There's no way. Look out. He looks huge as a 61. Yeah. He's going to, and we were speculating, he's going to go 41 this coming year, and then he'll go 65. But a lot of people were saying, no, he's going down to 57, and don't be surprised if he Olympic red shirts. And that's going to have a big effect on things. Yeah. Um, I wonder where Cornell sits. See, if I'm the Cornell coach, I, I'm thinking, you know what? My team is solid for this year. I mean, we got this the, a couple young guys that are really promising, and we got a solid lineup up and down. Uh, Shapiro over here. To not have Vito this year, that yeah, would hurt. That would hurt. And I. I mean, I hope Vito wrestle, wrestles, uh, but I, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised to see him take Olympic year. I mean, he could be like all the other guys now. What is it? Seven we got, years. We got doctors eight. out on the mat. We got doctors out on the mat. <laughs> eight years. <laughs> Dr. Vito, report to Matt three. Dr. Vito. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one person who's uh, not sticking around. That's Bo, but he's got a UFC layup oh, fight coming up. Yes. How how do you like come on how they're slow playing Bo? I guess that's what's I your mean, thoughts. I don't like it, but I guess that's what you do. You got to build up the hype, give them a couple wins, get that record up there, and then all of a sudden you can sell some tickets. That's what they're doing with Bo. I think they're grooming Bo. Yeah, the uh, one thing we don't know is does he have a chin? Yeah, we have not found that out yet. But kind of important. One Phil. thing we do. <laughs> one thing we do know about Bo. Is nothing he accomplishes surprise you? Boy, was a dog. Like I, I mean, we know that when he went up against Dean in the finals, I thought that's a shame. We we could have had five winners this year, and, and but he's got Dean, and as good as Bo is, yeah, he's not going to beat Dean. Dean's going to go out and get his third title. Bo finds a way. I so I. If there be one guy, it wouldn't surprise me. He, he somehow worked his way right to the top without taking a loss. It'd be Bo. However, we might find out that maybe he's, you know, can't take a punch as good as some of them guys. Some of them guys can take a punch. Yeah. Yeah. That's. And, <laughs> but well, so uh, far, he's just grappled. I mean, he get, he he's taking people to the mat. This next guy's a little better, right? I have no idea. I don't think they so. still are slow playing it, they, but they're getting every dollar they can. Yeah, and 
that they can out of Bo. But Bo is it's fun to watch. And now we got others. We got other wrestlers in this that I mean even, even Kassar. Kassar looked good. How mm. how well will he do? And there's others that are, are gonna end up going that route. And oh, I'm sure. I mean, you see Bo, he's on the sidelines coaching at the final X, man. You know, there's gonna some of them dudes are gonna be following him into the UFC. Well, who who's the when it comes to UFC, who's most of their champions? Is it the uh, yeah, it's wrestlers, kickboxers, far. it's wrestlers. I saw that stat, yeah, the karate guy. No, it's uh, yeah, Jiu-Jitsu, so, I don't think so, yeah. But um, all right. Oh, I got. I want to say something about Adeline Gray too. Oh my goodness! Who she? she the woman's champion at oh. seventy six. I don't watch that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come you come, She's amazing. When she won, uh, what was it? The trials. She won the trials. She's holding both of her twins. She had like twins wow. yesterday. Wow. Okay? And she came back and beat one of the women's biggest up and coming stars and to keep her spot uh, on the world team. And uh, just see you in uh, that Nittany Lion. the hat to Adeline Gray and to all the women. I'm watching you guys, uh, girls, and uh, I tell you. I Actually, I can't call the good women wrestlers dogs, can I? We got to come up with a new word for them. <laughs> yeah, true that. Hey, yeah, yeah. True that. All right, what, what are your five gold medal locks? Okay, that's a good question. Let's go. I've been waiting. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm covering all uh, divisions, too. All right. So I'm not just going to. Okay, my first gold medal lock. And I'm sorry, I might say this name wrong. Amit Elor. Last year, Zach, this woman, this this wrestler, that's just called wrestler. She won multiple divisions, gold medal in multiple divisions. You don't see that. You just don't see that. No. And um, she she's one of my guaranteed. She's bringing back gold. Okay. Um, Amit okay. Elor. Okay, next I'm going to U twenties, and this is easy for me. Is Shapiro and yep. Messenbrink? Woo! Um, no, just <laughs> guaranteed, guaranteed. Both of them boys. Uh, who's who's our future four comers or four timers? Yeah, we got Carter and we got Brooks that are going to do it this year. But after that, uh, um, even. Even O'Toole, I can't say for sure because he's got to deal with Carr and maybe Messenbrink or, or Haynes. Mm-hmm. So I can't get, give a guarantee here, but of the young guys that are coming up that I'm starting to think, wow, these might be four-timers. It's Messenbrink and Shapiro, and both of them are fun to watch. They're bringing back golds from U20. Mm, Messenbrink, that dude. Next, next one is from U23s, Wyatt Hendrickson. A man playing with some boys. That's what we're talking here. <laughs> Wyatt Hendrickson, after we seen... Wyatt Hendrickson just went basically even with with Paris. Okay? Now we've seen what Paris did with the best in the world. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we have a very clear picture of just how... And Hendrickson just gets better all the time. Plus, what a great guy. Kirk's in trouble. Whoa, wait, what? Kirk is in what? trouble next year. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Come on. Well, if anybody had to beat him, I'll make I'll take Wyatt Hendrickson because he's just. You ever meet a uh, athlete where it just seems like the whole world is rooting for him? Well, he's air like Federer. Yeah. Federer was one. Yeah. Here's one, Wyatt Hendrickson. I, I've never talked to a guy that said a bad word about. Well, he's just a great guy. Throw in, he's from uh, the Air Force. Uh, uh, feel good. man, he's fun. He's one of my locks. And my final, fifth, and final lock. Uh, I'm going the senior division, and I tell you, this is. You could say, well, obviously he's going to say Gable, or obviously he's going to say Dake. David Teller. 
I got to give my Taylor. lock for a gold to David Teller. He showed me something against one of the most incredible young wrestlers in the world, and that's Aaron Brooks. And I do think that Gable and and Dake will get gold. And quite frankly, if you don't mind me saying, I mean, Zane, Zane Rutherford, um, yeah, I want to say he's gold too. I'm curious. Now to see how he's he got he's got he, that's a tough weight. I remember the last World Championships. We never even got to see it because of our wonderful freestyle. Up oh, leg lease. Bloom, 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 bloom. It's over. It's over. And that's why, you know, folk style. The thing about wrestling, you like to think it's kind of like fighting. So whoever's controlling the other guy. That's the style I like. Yeah. Not the um, gadgety little, and that's like a lace. You, you yeah. say, well, that's not gadgety. You don't know what you're talking about. All the, go ask all these great wrestlers. Ask them which one uh, style they like best. They're all going to say freestyle. That might be true. That doesn't mean I have to sign up. I don't like the gadgety little, bloom, 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 bloom. I don't like it. So um, I never even got to see Zane against that world champ. From I forget where he's from, but I I will not be surprised to see Zane get a gold there. Quite frankly, I'm wow. dying to wow. see the. You know, there's not much coming up. We got the World Championships in September. What are we gonna do till then? Oh, we will find something to talk about. I'm sure stuff will be happening in Iowa, right? Something's going on in Iowa. I've been nudged and said, "Look, you got to find a new team to pick on." Well, maybe we can Boy. listen to Frank. Maybe we'll talk Boy. a little bit about the Cowboys, Oklahoma State. <laughs> Break down well, Cornell or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing with buttons. In the world, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, oh, one last thing is I want to bring up a, a – Fel Feldman, yeah, yeah. We got some feedback from our episode last week. Feldman uh, broke his back. Or no, his neck, and I don't neck know if it's a break or maybe it's just a disc. Where are you? Where are you, insiders at Ohio State? Insiders, give us some feedback here. What's recovery time? Yeah, because we're hoping ultimately. I we kind of expected to see him for these for freestyle. So obviously, it was a pretty serious. Yeah, we hope he's back because I tell you that incredible recruiting class Ohio State got. Um, Feldman's a big piece of that. Yep. And um, Ohio Needs State. Needs you in the lineup, Feldman. Yeah, they, they may be the people replacing Iowa as the people that w we have fun busting on. Yeah. Of course, well. you don't like Penn. Who do you like, by the way? Mm. Have you ever mentioned? I'm rooting for Iowa. I mean, you have made me an Iowa fan. Oh. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, okay. But... Uh, Boy, we talked about a lot. We got two. We minutes. didn't say one thing. Like and subscribe. No, oh, dang on it. Dang on it. I always forget that. Like and subscribe to the stupid show. Dang on it. Where's this <laughs> subscribe? Down here? Uh, I don't know. You, last time you said I'd said something wrong. Down here. You got to hit the subscribe and the like. Well, the one person right. said, uh, it, to get notifications after you subscribe. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. said all I have to do is hit subscribe. Well, somebody told me you got to hit something. You notify me or something. Uh, yeah. Notify me. We didn't tell you. Did I even mention, Frank, you're getting a BG Wrestling shirt. You got to right, email Frank. me. You got to email me your uh, address. Zach at BeerRunnerPrizeGroup.com. Email me your size and address, and uh, we're going to get you a shirt. Yeah. Subscribe, guys. All the way out there. Ladies and gentlemen, because um, it, it helps us. And it just makes us feel cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we brag to our friends. Yeah. Look, we got. Uh, what are yeah. we? We're coming, Flo. Where? We are coming to take over. <laughs> we're figuring out live streaming by the thousand subscriber. And we're going live for that episode, taking audience questions. Yeah. You like that? How yeah. about that? Let's see if our coverage cuts out. Or we forget. We'll find something to talk about in the offseason. Oh, yes, we will. We got a lot to talk about next week. But, folks, for this week, this is BEG Wrestling. <laughs>